Up close, these flowers could be in a national park. But if we zoom out, you'll see that this is a cemetery dump. Coeur d'Alene families were shocked to find out that their loved ones' memorials were moved from their graves to this back lot. I found out why. Losing a child is devastating. Losing another within two years is Jill Monroe's reality. Now she cannot even memorialize their graves. Even the urns were gone. Why would we come here? We know their dad isn't here. Her sons, Greg and Jeff, are both cremated and their urns sit on top of their gravestones. In a Facebook post, Coeur d'Alene Memorial Gardens announced they would be removing all tributes from the graves. This hit Jill hard, as her son's urns technically count as memorials. I really didn't want a bunch of people coming here by themselves and seeing where is my stuff, where is everything. The cemetery currently holds about 7,000 people, with almost 20% of the deceased being veterans. With this new rule, all flags would be removed from the grave sites. The cemetery says this plan was made to combat snow and ice. After facing hundreds of angry commenters and phone calls, Memorial Garden's Rick Poe agreed to make some changes. We're going to change it back to Veterans Day, November the 11th. And we've gotten some of those answers. A lot of things that have toughened us up, that have made us strong, that we can pretty much handle anything. Thanks in part to Jill, about 1,200 American flags will remain up for Veterans Day. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Morgan Trow, Creme 2 News.